think. And let's share the screen. Ah, I hate this application. Okay, so welcome to another Stromzy community meeting. Uh, first point uh, on the agenda is questions and issues, open forum. Does anyone have anything they want to ask about? Okay, hearing none, uh, the next point is uh, open PRs and issues. Uh, I actually edit, I actually open this in the wrong window as usually. So I will not be locked into GitHub. Let me switch the windows around. So the first thing is uh, we have already for some time four different PRs in the bridge. Uh, if I start with the oldest one, Tom Bentley, this is now two years old. Should we close this or? I can't even remember what that one's about. I'm happy if you close that. It's obviously the make files obviously working well enough. So okay, so that's one of them. And then we have three of them which seem to do something and seem to wait for some reviews. Uh, this one is about some forwarder header. Actually requested my review, but I have no clue about the bridge. Paolo, do you think you can find some time for it? Sorry, I was trying to unmute. Uh, yeah, to be honest, it was asked by one of the users in the community, right? And uh, Stanislav implemented it. Yeah, I guess there yeah. are now some conflicts, but might be good to have a look at it and see whether it makes sense after, because it's now a year old as well. Yes. Whether it makes sense to rebase it or what's the plan. Then uh, next one is about some assignment test. Yeah, I just noticed that I asked for some investigation to stand up. So I will, uh, I will take a look again and maybe ping stand is, on this. Stand on the call? No. No, it seems not. Okay. And then the last one is uh, the Vertex update. Yeah, I guess that uh, with this one, we should move forward because we already moved with the, the operator to Vertex 4, right? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, I will be given in this case, stand again for uh, fixing the conflicts and I will take a look. Okay, so that's the bridge PRs. 
Oh wait, I added this to the wrong one. And then there's a bunch of operator PRs, which I added. So this one seems to be ready for review, waiting for Tom and Paolo. Can you guys have a look? Yep. Yep. Then uh, the next one is actually merged, so we can remove it. Then, uh, yeah, this one, but I don't see Marco. So yeah, I think we need to ping Marco to get back to this and finish it finally, because that's now quite old as well. And then the last one, so I raised this because it's the old proposal opened by Andrew, uh, which was opened against the operator repository because we didn't have the proposals repository at the time. I think there's a lot of uh, variable stuff which we should keep in the proposal, but ideally we need to move it to the proposals. So uh, I was thinking if we should uh, take it and create a new PR. I'm not sure Andrew will have time for that, uh, given his new job and so on. But uh, maybe one of us can take it and open it as a draft PR to the proposals repository so that we have it tracked there and link to the original one and close it. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Yeah, I agree. Okay, so I guess I can do it. So anyone has any other PRs to discuss? Uh, Jakub, uh, I was thinking that uh, whether we should take uh, some suggestions from the other maintainers also regarding that config map thing, because uh, Kyle and me has given our suggestion, but uh, I guess maybe it would be good if everyone would. So let me have a look. I didn't approve it because uh, yeah, last time I looked, you still didn't do the change lock and no, so on. I made the changes now. Uh, have another look at it. Can you also have a look at the conflict and the change lock? That should be easy to resolve. Okay. And then I guess uh, Tom Cooper, uh, you reviewed it before. I, I have reviewed it multiple times. I need to go through the final state of it. Um, and Stanislav had some comments, so he should review it as well. I'm, I'm not sure if anyone else is interested in reviewing it, but uh, yeah, me and Stanislav, if we approve it, that should be enough for merging it. Yeah, Kyle's had a so look at it too. We are keeping it in the JSON format, right? Have we not changed it? Like, well, I asked there for the feedback, and I think the feedback was Whoever commented there said that it's expected to be consumed programmatically. So in that case, I think JSON is a good format. Yeah. Yeah. 
if users complain that it's hard to do, then we could add another thing that will come, you know, could create a CSV or like you say, something. <laughs> and I mean, of course, Tom, Bentley, Paolo, Jakub, Stayskal, and so on. If you want to review it, you can, of course, review it as well. And actually, I didn't edit it originally to the agenda, but. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, I think this PR about the blacklist pattern, how oh, Stanislav requested to review it, so I will ping him as well about it. And again, if anyone else is interested in reviewing it, then feel free, of course. Anything else to any other PRs? Then I guess the next topic is uh, open proposals. So I think there are two open proposals. So the first one is about the Red Hat Universal Base Image 8. So I guess technically this has enough approvals, but yeah, Tom, uh, you had some comments on it. I think it would be good to close it. Either yeah, we need to. Approving it or if you think it's not a good idea, I'm not necessarily going to fight it, but yeah, in that case we should close it and uh, and reject it. Yeah, leave it with me. I'll, uh, what is it, number 31? I'll have another look. And then the next one is the one about the network policy feature gate. Actually, I forgot about this one when we talked about the feature gates earlier uh, today, Daniel. Uh, so I guess a bunch of people had some review comments and they were not implemented yet. Uh, anyone else planning to review it anytime soon, Paolo? Yes, I will do. So maybe if you can have a look at it and then uh, yeah, if you have some comments, then after you add them, we can ping the guy, he can incorporate the comments or get them resolved somehow. Yeah, sure. Okay, and I guess there are only two proposals, so that's probably it for open proposals. Or, and then someone added CR API for PKI work. Was that you, Tom? Yeah, that was me. Um, so I've not been able to work on the uh, the sort of the PKI rewrite. Um, for a few weeks, so I need to pick that back up. But as I recall, I'm roughly at a stage where I need to decide um, to what extent we're exposing this in the API. So um, I should probably back up and explain a little bit about the sort of the work that I've that I've done um, and what that will hopefully allow us to do. The, the basic idea is that um, at the moment, um, Strimzy has got support in the Kafka CR for um, limited configuration of um, the two different um, 
CAs, there's the cluster CA and the client CA. Um, and this has been a problem for, you know, quite a few different use cases, the lack of configurability um, and the fact that it's sort of one size fits all um, and Scrimsy sort of wants to be that CA. Um, so the basic idea is you can provide, um, it, it follows sort of the, uh, the a similar API to, um, the uh, cert manager project where you get to, um, yeah, you can specify um, different, well, once we figured out how the API changes are gonna work, you can, um, you will be able to specify different ways of getting um, certificates. And in particular, you don't have to, um, Scrimsy doesn't have to have access to um, any root CA. So you could, for example, um, so it can, using this model, you could delegate to um, a cert manager itself. You could, in theory, delegate to something um, like Vault, I think. Um, you could manage the, um, the CA yourself. So you could have your own um, private CA where you can establish trust in that, but Strimsy never actually sees the um, the root CA certificate, and you uh, Strimsy just has access to uh, an intermediate CA um, from which it can generate the certificates, for example. So it brings a lot more flexibility to um, how um, TLS can be provisioned by Strimsy, um, and one of the there's, there's other bits to it as well. Um, and one of the things that I'm kind of acutely aware, although in in theory, it should be possible to um, sort of re-implement the API that we've currently got and completely remove the, um, there's some classes in the cluster operator called CA and a, a couple of subclasses, one called cluster CA and one called client CA. You could completely remove those and replace it by this new stuff. I'm also aware that the chances of doing that and it and not introducing bugs um well it's a risk basically and uh obviously people sort of invest quite a lot of time i think when they're customizing this stuff and making sure it's going to work for them um and if we then introduce a bug which might not become apparent until um a much later time when um there's a certificate renewal event um, that's not going to be sort of very welcome. So what I wanted to sort of talk over um, is whether we should try and use the existing API um, and re-implement it and, you know, try and be sure that there aren't any bugs, but you can never guarantee that software is bug free, um, or whether we should look at introducing um, this in a sort of a, a more reliably backwards compatible way so that um, any CR that people can express today will continue to be um, handled by the existing CA stuff um, and only new um, CRs that needed this extra flexibility would use the new code. If that makes any sense or is that a little bit too hand wavy for people? So does, if we don't keep the current stuff, does that mean that we will basically have something like a cert manager as dependency? No. Um, so it, the idea is to make it flexible. So we can implement the same um, behavior that we have currently. In other words, we can sort of act as our own CA internally um, using this sort of infrastructure, but it, a lot of the, the what sort of what I've done is to um, make it more flexible, but also make it understand enough about how certificates work that it knows um, when to do stuff. So it knows when it needs to request a new certificate from a certificate authority, for example, even if that certificate authority um, is not actually part of Strimsy. So it's it's flexible and pluggable. Um, but it, we don't necessarily lose capabilities or 
add mandatory dependencies. Sorry, Tom, when, when using the third manager, uh, because you know, when you interact with third manager, there are some custom resources that you have to, to create certificates, certificate issue, things like that. Do you mean that the stream it's operator is going to do that or is uh, the user to configure cert manager to be used by the StreamZ and creating this resource? I'm saying StreamZ could do that if it was configured to do so in, in a particular CR, but it could also act as its own CA just as it does currently, or it could interact with some other thing, or the user could be just giving StreamZ a a root CA to trust and providing certificates or whatever. It's 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 really quite it sort of separates how certificates are are issued from how they get deployed within the cluster, if you like, is, is part of it. I mean I should probably write it all up um, in a more coherent form than just sort of um, trying to explain it on the fly. But um, I think before I sort of, yeah, I just sort of wanted to get a feel for what people sort of thought about how we should expose this new flexibility uh, in the CR API. I think it's quite hard to comment on it when we don't have some examples of how you will make it flexible and yet be able to use standalone without a cert manager for example so it's a bit hard to imagine for me how it okay. look like but that's fine i so, will so i think some examples might be more, more examples from a user perspective for example uh -huh. would be useful but in general i mean the current way is uh, the current implementation of the ca classes and how the renewal works there we know that it's crap, right? You started this whole world because there are about six different bugs in how the renewals work there. So I'm not sure I buy the argument that, yeah, by rewriting it, we might replace something bug free with something that will be full of bugs. Yeah, okay. But I can to a large extent see how uh, we learned our lesson with how it works today. And now we know a lot better what to be careful about. So yeah, maybe the current one is not bug free. And uh, yeah, maybe learning from that and doing the new work better will not necessarily make it full of bugs compared to the current implementation. So I I'm not sure I would see the current code is something we necessarily have to stick with. Okay. Um, I think I what I need to do then is I need to write this up in a way that people can actually understand what it is that I'm proposing to do. And then we can have uh, a better informed sort of discussion about how the a API parts of it might work. Um, and yeah, come back to it um, probably in a, a GitHub issue. Uh, obviously, it's very important to it's very important to whatever you do to make sure that the users can easily, ideally, effortlessly convert, right? Especially those who don't do anything special today and just use the built-in CA. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I will, um, I'll go away and I'll refresh my memory about how it works and I'll write something up and we can come back to this. Thanks. Or I, of course, don't know what others think about it. That was just my opinion. Always silent. So, well, when I'm silent, it means that I agree. So, oh yeah, I was asking that question because uh, yeah, I'd like 
to understand much better uh, what is in the Tom's mind. So maybe yeah, providing some examples or writing down something is uh, much better for us. Yeah, sorry. Um, I should have probably done that before uh, sticking this on the agenda. Well, no worries. Give me a few days and I'll come back with something. Uh, yeah, to be honest, I don't know. Maybe if we were starting fresh today with Strunzi, I would say that we should just offload all of this to Cert Manager. But I assume any right now, any migration to that with existing users, it's not really an option. So I think that's the, that's the hard thing. Anyone has anything else to this topic? So that's actually the last point on the agenda. Uh, so before we call it a day, anyone has any other business or anything else they want to discuss? Okay, in that case, I think we are probably done for today.